Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be one of my favorite things, sewing. I know I say everything is my favorite, but everything probably truly is my favorite because I love doing so many different things. But today's video is going to be a bathrobe wraparound. Isn't that just adorable? This is super cheap, super easy to make, doesn't take a lot of time to do it, and who doesn't like a bathrobe wrap around when they get out of the shower and they want to iron their clothes or put on their makeup before they get dressed and they don't have to worry about their towel falling down or coming unfolded at the top. And this is my version of the bathrobe wrap around. So come on and craft with me today. Or I guess I should say come sew with me today. Okay, so what are you going to need for this project? You're going to need a good quality towel. You're going to need some ribbon that fits the width of the towel. You're going to need a five inch piece of Velcro. You're going to need some elastic, one inch thick elastic that actually measures around your chest. And that's how you measure this. So as long as it fits around your chest, that's the size you need some scissors, some pins, and two safety pins, large safety pins. Okay, so let's get started showing you what you need to do with this. Where the lines are in the towel at the edge, the decorative lines, you are going to want to put your ribbon. So that's where we're putting our ribbon. So I am going to center this right over the top of that line and it'll be centered in between the two small ones. So maybe you just have a small one in the middle. Go ahead and cover that up. And you want to have enough so you can fold your ribbon over on the edges. You want to be able to fold it over. So make sure that you have about one to two extra inches longer than your towel. And then you just want that even amount on each end. And these towels, this towel that I got, this is actually a charisma towel and it is 30 inches by 58 so it's just a bath towel not a bath sheet and these charisma towels you can get at Costco every single April they go on sale in a wide variety of colors for $4.99 they're marked down from like eight or nine dollars to $4.99 these are awesome quality towels they are super thick and I love them I use them in my house and every April if there's towels that need to be replaced or that have just faded or have a spot on them, these actually now say spot stop on them, which I think is really cool and it's color protected so they don't fade. And the last set I bought last year really held up good. So I bought some again this year to replace ones that I had bought a few years ago that I believe did not have the spot stop color protection because they kind of faded in some spots and these towels are awesome just to stock up on every april at costco so if you have a costco membership when they have their white sale i suggest going there and stocking up okay so now this is all pinned up so we are going to sew it along each side of the ribbon so make sure that you have a coordinating color thread in your sewing machine. Sew away. You want that line on that ribbon to be as straight as can be because it is going to show if it's crooked.
keep this foot, you know, right along the ribbon, so. Going. Now let's do the other side, which is on. Side. Okay, what we're going to do is along the top edge, lengthwise, we are going to fold it down and make a pocket to put the elastic in. And I I'm gonna be honest, I don't measure. I'm not a good measurer all the time. I do it with paper crafts, but, and I do do it with quilting, but when it comes to stuff like this, I'm not like, I just don't go through the hassle of measuring it. So see how you're just gonna kinda, you're gonna take your edge and you're gonna fold it in. And you want a pocket that's gonna be big enough to hold, to fit your one inch elastic. And when you're folding this in, you want to take that excess ribbon that you have and you want to fold it in so when you sew it down, it leaves a nice, pretty, finished edge right there. So go ahead and fold in your pocket. and pin it down. And I mean, you could tell by eyeballing it if it's even or not. It's the end of April right now and the wind, Santa Ana winds are picking up. My husband's an LA County fire captain out here. And today he went in this morning for his regular shift. And whenever he gets called for a big fire that you see on the news, we have this thing where he calls me just to let me know so I don't wonder when I haven't heard from him for however long if he's on a fire or not. So he called this morning, well, not even this morning. Well, he called a couple hours ago letting me know that they're sending him out on a strike team. Boo-hoo, I hate that. That equals me watching the news the rest of the day to see what fire he's on. I just hate that. I mean, he's got to do it because it's what he does. But, you know, it's not any fun for the wife that's sitting at home watching it on the news. It's probably not even a good idea to watch the news when your husband's out there doing that stuff. But... What else are you supposed to do? Sit at home and act like he's not there, you know? So, I, when we first got married, I used to just be a wreck, like just totally scared to death. And while I am always worried for my husband, I know that he is now, I have learned that my husband is very good at his job and so when he goes out to these 
big wildfires. I just pray that the good Lord keeps him safe, that his brother firefighters keep him safe, and I'm babbling on. But why not? And that's what I pray for today. Is that he stays safe out there and doesn't take any unnecessary risks. I think my fingers are a pin cushion now because I am getting them today. Okay, so we are all pinned up along the long edge. So when you sew this, you are not going to sew across here because you need to keep that flap open. So just take and go straight down. Do not go across. Leave that open so we can push our elastic through. So now what we're going to do, see, you've got your pocket and you've got the sleeve there, the pocket sleeve, and you've sewn it across. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our elastic and our two big safety pins, and we are gonna put a safety pin at one end of the elastic, and we are going to attach it to one side of the hole of the sleeve. And this is just so it doesn't you can just put it anywhere really. This is just so when you're feeding it through, it, good grief, seriously, there we go. It doesn't go all the way through. Then you're gonna take, you gotta make sure your elastic is straight. You're gonna take your other safety pin, put it on the other end, and now we are ready to just feed it through the towel. So feed it through and I'll see you back here when I'm done. There you go. Take off your safety pin and you are going to hold it tightly and you are going to pin the elastic. You want to pin it in so you can sew it. And go ahead and do that to the other side as well. Don't let go of that elastic. Not fun times, I say. Tuck it into the little pocket there enough that you don't see it hanging out. Now just go ahead and do a quick stitch right along the opening of the pocket on each end to secure your elastic. There you have it. And now it is time to put the Velcro on. So, on the Velcro, you wanna make sure when you're putting it on that you actually kind of close, take your, the inside and then like you're wrapping it around you and close it. So you put the Velcro on the right sides in there. So you're going to set your Velcro in there and then that's how you're going to separate it and then put it on. I'm going to put the fuzzy side on the inside. And this one, you kind of just have to hold it and sew. If you can pin it, have at it, but I'm going to just stick it in there and I'm going to pull my elastic and I'm going to sew my line. There you go. You've got your one piece of 
Velcro. And like I said, just to remind you, that's the that's on the outside of your rope, but it's actually gonna be on the inside when you Velcro. So keep that in mind. You're gonna be Velcroing it like this when it's on you. Okay, so let's do the other side. And this side, I am actually going to make my Velcro a little smaller because I just realized it's gonna go over my ribbon and I really don't want all these lines in my ribbon. So I'm gonna make it smaller. So now what's left to do is this last end of ribbon that's sticking out. And so what I do with this is I take the ribbon and I fold it in half and then I fold it down. Just like this. And I just stitch across right here. Just do one stitch, one line across, and that's how I finish this off. All right, so there. There you have it. It's folded over and finished. It's got a nice clean finish on it on the underneath side and on the front. And so basically, if you want this to be it, this can be it. Or you can even put a bow right here with this same ribbon. And I think that that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I went ahead and added the bow on with some fabric glue to cover up the stitching underneath it, just to kind of finish it off. And you know what? I love these. How cute is that? I think that this is such a cute gift idea. And honestly, I would say that this gift idea is probably under $10 because the towel itself was $4.99. The ribbon was, I think, $3.99, but I've made other wraps with it, so you're not spending $3.99 for the one. So, I mean, we'll call it a $10 gift. You know what's even better is if you pair it up with the bath salt and bath scrub that you made. Isn't that adorable? That, like I said when I made these bath scrub and bath salts, this would be such a cute idea for a new mom. Take this to her and she's gonna love it. This is an adorable idea for Mother's Day. This is a great idea for your teen daughter when she has friends' birthdays. And if your teen daughter is anything like mine, it feels like Kayla has a friend's birthday two or three times a month. And so I think that this is a super cute, super fun idea. And I hope you like it. I hope that you've done it and it was easy for you and I hope that you decide to gift this as well. And you know what? If you do, I want to hear about it. Leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know how it went for you. Let me know who you gave this to. I'd just like to hear back from you about it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, please. And until next time, Happy crafting and happy sewing. Thank you guys for watching.